Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy, and today we'll be looking at the calculator buttons that you need to know for the GED, High Set, and Task Test. So first of all, the calculator is called the TI-30XS, which is made by Texas Instruments, and you can see a picture of it here on the screen. It is the only calculator that's permitted for the task, GED, or high set. And if you're taking a computer-based test, it'll actually be available to you on screen rather than just a physical version. And all the calculator operations that you're used to on a phone calculator or a simple one that you have at home, like adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing, they're all on here. But this calculator can do so much more. And the more that you're able to do with it, the more quickly you'll be able to work through the material on your test. So turning the calculator on, very simple. We'll find an on button down in the bottom left hand. So if your calculator, when you receive it, specifically if you receive the physical version of it is not yet on, make sure you start there. Now our basic operations, just like we'd find on every calculator are over here. Division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. You may be looking for the equals key as well, but instead it's labeled as enter on this calculator. Now for negative numbers, it's a little different than just putting in our subtraction sign, which looks like a negative sign. You'll see that the negative sign is down here at the bottom underneath the three, and it's designated with parentheses around it so that we know that's the negative sign and not the subtraction. Speaking of parentheses, should you have them in a problem that you're working on, you can include them on what you're putting into your calculator. So the parentheses options are there. Now we have some key pieces here. First of all, we see the delete button and the delete button is like a backspace. We need to get rid of one thing, you can hit delete. The clear button is a little more comprehensive. It'll get rid of everything on the screen. And for the navigation, you can use that to go back and make corrections. So let's say that you wrote an eight where you meant to put a nine, you could use the keys to go back in what you wrote, delete the character you want to get rid of and retype the character you want to add in. Now the fraction to decimal key was a big discovery for me and I know it could be really helpful for you. If you are converting something from a fraction to a decimal or from a decimal to a fraction, you can type in whatever form you have here and then hit the fraction to decimal button to make it switch. For exponents, you'll see we have two buttons. First of all, we see the X squared button. So if you are just squaring a number, you can type the number, for example, seven, and then hit the X squared and it will give you seven squared. If you have a different exponent, like three or 10 or a thousand, whatever it might be, you can type the number that you're using, the base. So for example, we use seven again, then click the caret that's right above where you see the X squared. And then you can click the power. So for example, seven to the eighth power, I would do seven carat eight. Now, another important button to know about is the second button. You'll notice that it's green. And if you look all over the calculator, you may see that there's some green above many of our numbers here. And so I want to encourage you to use the second button to access those things that you see that are above the blue buttons. So for example, if I wanted to use square root, I see that square root sign right above the X squared. So I can ask myself, if I wanna to get to that, how can I get to the green? Well, remember to hit that green second button. So go up to the top, click that green second button, and then click the X squared blue button, and that will give you that square root sign. And then you can type whatever number you'd like to get the square root of. For fractions and mixed numbers, you can see the blue button says N over D. Well, that means numerator over denominator. So you can use that button to create a fraction right on your screen. So for example, if I wanted to do five sixths, I could hit five and then the N over D button and then six. I can also make a mixed number by clicking the second button and clicking the N over D button again. And that will give me a, a whole number at the beginning and then a numerator over denominator beside it for a mixed number. And I can always use those toggle keys up at the top, the four arrows, to move around and make changes to the different pieces to that. 
Now, turning the calculator off is our last piece here. So in order to do that, we'll also need that second button, but you'll see that on button doubles as an off button when we use second. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you learned some new functions on your calculator. Good luck on your tests, and don't forget to check us out for all of your different testing needs. We have so many different video options here. You can also check out the Helms Academy on Instagram and Facebook and on our website at helmsacademy.org.